maybe you guys could explain something to me. How can Madonna go to England for two weeks and tour? And then you'll see her on Letterman. And he'll say, a simple question, how was the tour, Madonna? And she'll go, oh, David, it was lovely. It was fantastic. With the tea, with the crumpets, it's fantastic, David, thank you. But she can go to Asia for six months. <laughs> That's not the punchline, but thank you for participating. <laughs> yeah! She can go to Asia for six months and you don't see her on Letterman going, oh, you know, David, that tour was good, you know. Uh, we drank Sapporo and we had lots of sushi, you know. <laughs> it was a good tour, David, good. I could do it all night. All right. I'm not kidding. Oh, you guys are great. I miss being a kid. Man, how, does anyone miss being a kid? Oh, yeah, I do too. Sometimes I'll crap my pants to remember what it's like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Things are just fun when you're a kid, you know? Like, you know, you get a crush on a boy or whatever. I miss running up to a boy I got a crush on and socking him in the neck because I like him. Now it's assault, mm, you know. I don't date much. <laughs> I know that's hard to believe. I, d I don't because I'm a bad dater. Like, I'll go on a date, and when I go on a date, I get really nervous. And, I, and when I get nervous, I eat fast. And when I eat fast, I throw up in my mouth. <laughs> that is so hard to cover up. You know, like, oh, what, you're kidding, really? Oh, what, oh you did? Oh, and then what'd she say? Oh, oh no way! <laughs> <laughs> I started going to the gym, people. I know. <laughs> Does not look like I need to work out, I know. But I thought, you know, I'm tired of trying to meet guys in bars because I basically end up talking to people's butt cracks all the time. So anyway, it's just ridiculous. So I decided that I was going to go to the health club and, you know, burn a few calories. You know, not that, again, that I need to, but just go to burn a few calories and maybe I could meet a fella. And so I bought a really cute outfit, like the pink tights and then the purple jumpsuit with the thing that goes up the tar hole, you know? And I'm not gonna lie to you, I showered that day and I looked good, okay? I feathered my hair, aquanetted it up. <laughs> I walked in like this, <laughs> I guess. And I didn't recognize any of the equipment. This is gonna be a prop. I didn't recognize any of the equipment because I hadn't worked out, you know, like in, ever. And so I, I did see the Stairmaster though, and I was like, how hard could that be? It's like, you crawl up some stairs, you just step up some steps, you know? And I thought it'd be good because it give me, you know, elevate me, so give me a good POV so I could put out the vibe. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, I crawled up on top of her. I settled up on top of her. I set it for like a good 30 minutes and I was looking good. I started burning some calories. And I was putting out the vibe, looking good. And after 10 minutes, it got a little harder. But I was still keeping it together, putting it out there. And I saw a few guys checking out the old caboose. <laughs> And at about 26 minutes from what I can remember, I lost complete control. <laughs> so I'm still single. Yeah. I've always wanted to be stalked, you know? 
Not by someone crazy, someone good. And I got fired up the other day because I was, got out of the shower, I was walking from my bathroom to my bedroom, caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror and I thought there was a short, fat, naked Italian man in my house. <laughs> I was all ready to get beaten down. I was so bummed it was me. But I'm 80% sure that I have someone stalking me, but he sucks so bad, he's so obvious. He drives like a big brown truck and wears a brown uniform, acts like he's delivering a package. <laughs> Whatever. You know, I'm going to give a swift kick to the ear. <laughs> Look at everyone got, whoa, can she kick that high? Sure can. Sure can. It's people that say it was, it, it was funny at the time, I guess he had to be there. Because if it was funny at the time and you guess I had to be there, then why are you telling me now? <laughs> I don't believe everything I see on TV anymore. I'm not kidding you, people. Like that herbal shampoo. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Those ladies having orgasms in the shower. It was like, I'm going to Costco and getting a family pack of that. And I did. And I was in the shower all weekend. And that shampoo does not cause orgasms. I didn't have one. But the bottle does. 